Hi and welcome again to Tech It Out. Today I was going to bring you an unboxing and review of this, the Hisense 4K Ultra HD TV. It's the new version that's just come out and it's at an extremely low price for a 4K TV. But I did hit a little bit of a problem. To actually use the television to its full potential as a PC monitor, unfortunately my graphics card doesn't output HDMI 2.2 which this particular TV needs to get the full 60 hertz refresh rate, which makes it usable for PC gaming and PC work, really. It also requires HDMI 2.0, as well as HDCP 2.2, which is the security part of things for 4K delivery, without which you wouldn't actually get a picture on the screen. What I thought today I would show you is my solution to this problem. It comes from a company who are selling on Amazon.co.uk. I'm not sure if they deliver worldwide or not. They may do. It's worth having a look just to check. The links will be in the description below. The company is called UpTab, and this is the actual adapter to solve my problem. It's a HDMI 2.2. Active adapter. Fully 4K 60Hz and HDCP 2.2. And on the other end of it, there you can see a display adapter, which is what I needed to actually fully output from my video card. Now, when I told them I was going to be making this video, they very kindly said, well, we've got a couple of other adapters as well that you can have a look at. And uh, if you want to make a video on them, you're welcome to do so. So they sent me a couple more adapters along. Now I did explain to them that all my views would still be untainted by this. I wouldn't give them any preferential treatment if I found anything untoward with them. And they are quite happy with that. And uh, here they are, the two different adapters. This is the first one. As you can see, they all look almost exactly the same. The only differences are in the connections. So there's this one. Again, it looks exactly the same, apart from the connection on the end there. And what I'll do now is I'll just get them out and you can have a closer look at the connections to see the differences. Just open these two up. The one I'm using for my PC to the 4K TV at the moment will be the display port to HDMI 2.2. This one is HDMI 2.2 and the input is USB 3.1 that's the reversible type, the mini one and then this one again HDMI 2.2 but this time to the mini display port adapter and I'll make a quick little video on these two as well later on but we're going to be looking at this one first and what I need to get hold of is my graphics card. So if I just grab the graphics card that I showed him in my former videos, as you can see on this graphics card I have two outputs here. Now these two outputs, I'm not sure if they are capable of actually doing the full 60 hertz at 4K. The HDMI is 1.2 so that definitely isn't, but the display port is able to do that. It's fully functional at 60 hertz of 4K, which is where this comes in. And it quite simply plugs into your video card, display port, and then you plug your HDMI cable into there. Like I said, it's very simple, straightforward, no power supply, nothing, it's all embedded into that little box on the end of the adapter that you can see there. There's a microcircuitry in there and everything, and it's fully self-sufficient so you don't have to find power supplies and extra wires from USBs or whatever. Now the only other thing you have to do is actually plug the end of your HDMI cable into the appropriate socket. This TV that I have has both HDMI 1.4 and HDMI 2 sockets. The 1.4 run at 30 hertz, the HDMI 2 at 60 hertz, so of course I plug it into the 60 hertz socket. Finally the last thing that you do is go into the menu of the TV itself and set it to PC gaming so that it actually gets rid of the lag that you would normally get if you had it in standard mode. 
I'll tell you exactly how it works and how well it's worked out in my review and unboxing of the television. But for now, thank you for watching.